Hey everyone, this is Amber. Just wanted to come on here and kind of <clears throat> say what has been recently on my heart. Just a single mom diary. Um, other things, you know, that we kind of go through in the mood swings. Um, and I'm really trying not to cry. But, um, just recently I have been, um, just the last couple of days, you know, I've just been in this funk and I really don't know what it, what it is. And I've been in this funk and I just didn't know how to like shake it. It was a lot of external things, but I feel like I can differentiate like the areas of my life. And so... One thing that was happening, I felt different than the other thing, but I got into the, you know, the rhythm, the mundane, the, and I was like, man, Lord, I'm tired of this. <laughs> I am so tired of the repeat. I'm tired of doing good. I am, basically, I'm weary, of, you know, doing good because I don't see a harvest. And even though your word says don't um, get tired, I'm, I'm getting tired. And I've just been really silent because when I get into this, I kind of shut off the distractions. I try not to, you know, scroll through social media or whatever. I really try to. I try to. Now, do I get it right? No, all the time. But I try to stop. So I can hear what God is trying to say or why he's bringing me through this mood. And I recall this morning one particular incident. And we are called like, not we are called to be strong, but God has provided single mothers with like this immeasurable strength. When we feel like we're doing and doing and doing, it's like, it's not me. <laughs> it's like the God in me because I promise you like I sometimes don't feel but the God in me like takes over and he does what I can't do because my body gets really really tired I'm not sure if anybody can say amen to that but my body gets really tired my mind gets really tired my spirit gets really tired my emotions get really tired of going through the day-to-day -day, going through the ups and downs managing my emotions while managing her emotions it's a lot and so one day it was a particular incident where I, um i do this thing where i kind of like rearrange and i try to see how like my furniture kind of feng shui so I, I rearrange my furniture because i just like new spaces even in the same space <laughs> um this particular day i was um downstairs and i was um you know um helping well i was trying to move the my area rug from under my sectional sofa and so i only had me and dallas here and i was like well dallas can you and you know she like have you know it's not her responsibility but i do ask her like can you help like with the little things so i know that she can push and pull and i was like i'm gonna lift this sofa can you you know and so I was like, you know, doing it and um, she, you know, she helped or whatever, but the bulk and the majority was, was, you know, of course me. So afterwards I, you know, was talking um, with someone on the phone and I was telling them, I was like, you know, it's just, it's so, you know, tiring to, you know, do this, you know, I had to, you know, push pull the rug you know and it's tiring and you know stuff like that and his answer to me kind of blew my mind because I was like this is what single moms are expected to do I guess in in the world's sight this is what we are supposed to do like man you got it like my mom did it you know and like you got it or whatever and I was like um I, I get what you're saying, but like, we're not, we're not supposed to carry all of this load in the first place, right? Yes, I, you know, divorced and, 
you know, all of that stuff. And I'm, I'm in the predicament that I am now, but we're not supposed to carry this load. And so the person, like, I felt like he was like, well, you know, I felt like a person who does this <laughs> for a living be like, oh, do you, do you need help next time? You know, do that or something like that. But I didn't get mad, but I was just like, this is the perception that we're supposed to do it alone. And just because you saw your mom do it doesn't mean that she wants to do it it doesn't mean that she wants to carry this load and so i just began to like wonder like wow like i wonder if this is like going to be my life i wonder if i am just going to be carrying this load like for the rest of my life without help without people seeing there's a need it is so much like there are so many things that I saw in on social media which I was like it is so true like the one where you see somebody drowning and instead of pulling them up <laughs> they're like you got this you got this you got no I need your help I need somebody to pull me up like this is the perception that we have and people say that you're strong so I don't want to be strong all the time I don't want to be strong all the time. I really do not. I do not want to be strong all the time. I want somebody to help me. And I don't have that in my marriage. I don't have it now. I want somebody that I can trust to help me. There's different things that people have ulterior motives of helping you. And I've been through that and I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. But somebody who is genuinely concerned genuinely want to help it can be a friend it can be but so many people now and men have ulterior motives they they do something for you because they want something they don't do something because it's it's a need to be filled this is the saddest area of my life sorry <laughs> let me go get some tissue as you can see i didn't plan on crying because <laughs> i didn't have my tissue handy but like and I um it's 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 just like no no <laughs> like this is a real help like I need help man just because you see your mom do it <laughs> you know doesn't mean that the person that you're talking to doesn't want your help basically like men who was raised by single moms they seen it and I understand that that's their um that's their perception but like we like i get it if you're some in somebody's life as a friend as a boyfriend as a fiance and they have kids it's not okay to be like you got it because i seen you do it it's it, it's almost like i need you to kind of help <laughs> too i need you to like see that there's a need god put this on my heart it's like five lessons in one but it just segues into the fact that you know in the um, book of Matthew there is a verse that says ask and it shall be given <clears throat> knock and it shall be open seek and you will find and so many people are stuck on the ask I am not against you asking for something when there is a need but in the same breath that we say um the the verse says that it also says you will you seek it also says <clears throat> knock and so god revealed this to me and was like yeah you know asking is good and also you seek a need when you seek a need you will find one and a lot of people don't want to be they were like oh you um well they didn't say anything to me so i'm just but when you see a need and a lot of people a lot of christians a lot of you know i do good and stuff they don't want that part they don't want to come outside themselves and be like i see i i see that you need that you see a struggling mom you see a struggling dad you see a struggle struggling kid you see that we we need to pray that we see needs in others we need to pray that we have eyes to see and that God reveal who, who, who there is a need for and we will find one. 
So in the same breath, yeah, they, they should ask, of course. But sometimes you know that is not the case. And a lot of people, because it's pride. Now there have been times where I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna do this. And they ain't even asked. A lot of men, like when I'm in the grocery store and I'm, you know, only but so big, and I'm on the shelf and there's actually nobody there to ask <laughs> around. And I'm just trying to get it and somebody spot me like, oh, you need me to get that? Yes, I do. Yes, I really do. Because you see me struggling. It's the same thing. And I'm just kind of like blown at the lack of empathy or the lack of sympathy or the lack of compassion that a lot of people have. <laughs> and it's kind of like, oh, you're strong though. And I am strong in the Lord. But I have weak moments. And when God says, when you are weak, I am strong, he comes up in us. But he also sends people. When you are weak, I'm going to send you somebody. It, it's always God coming to the rescue. But he does it in so many ways. He stands strong in us. He sends people. He sends resources. And that's him becoming strong in our situation. But I just feel like I'm going through this for somebody but also to vocalize that a single moms and i've heard it on podcasts they don't want to ask for help because they don't want to be a burden to every and anybody because i heard this um girl say she says it's my responsibility for her it's not yours i should not be relying on you all the time but we need to know that we're not burning burdening people with you know with our child you know i don't know that i do not know that i'm not burdening you and that's what we do not see that's what people do not see they don't see that we're like i really don't want to ask them again or i know they got something planned they ain't gonna cancel so i have to it's 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 a burden that we have to it's a burden that we have to do everything and when you don't have anybody <laughs> when you don't have anybody and I have been through people and they wanted something back it's kind of like there is no genuine concern I'm talking about people of the opposite sex they want something in return they don't want like to, to, to help you because they have a heart to help people and so I'm just you know in this mood and I just needed to express that I just needed to say it because it's hard it's hard and then uh, you know other times you know they already <laughs> you know subliminally say you know that they can't they can't take like other people can't take on another thing you know they got their stuff going on so it's kind of like we take that and be like oh, okay but you know we're over here struggling we are so i just needed to get that out because I feel I feel like I'm feeling this for somebody. I really do. I like why do I keep going through this mountain? Why do I keep, you know, and I'm really trying to be faithful to God. I'm really trying to be faithful to God. I'm really trying to not get weary of doing good, and, but I have real feelings. And it's just real feelings as a single mom. So the takeaway, I would just say, seek a need. You don't even have to be a single mom. If we just seek a need in somebody each and every day, if you see somebody struggling to get something off the shelf, you know, I did that. It was somebody shorter than me. It was so crazy. It was somebody shorter than me at the grocery store. And I <laughs> I was like, do you, do you need me to, you know, get that? She said, yeah. And I, and I did. If we can seek a need, if you see somebody, open your heart, open your um heart to be like, you know, I got these people in my life. I know that they don't have like kids out of the nest. They don't have like, um, you know, another income. They don't have this. Let's see. Can I, how can I help them today? If they say no, they say no. I'm just thinking about you. Is there anything that you need? I'm just, you know, I'm going to send you five dollars because you know something to where we we are seen because we don't want to be a burden 
And I'm just saying that from experience. We do not want to be a burden. So yeah. 